Hello everyone and welcome to the Stephanie Stevens Show. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Today I have an incredible lady that I actually met in the beauty supply store. Her name is Marilyn Wilson. She's gonna, she's over 70 and she's gonna talk to aging women about sex, men, and the joys of living with cats. So thank you guys so much for joining me here. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell everyone about Stephanie Stevens. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have the incredible Marilyn Wilson on my show. Hello, Marilyn. How are you? I'm very well, Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. Welcome good. to my show. I'm very glad to be here. It's my pleasure. Wonderful. How are you today? I'm pretty good, thank you. Yeah? Where are you from? I am from originally from Israel. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been in Toronto? Well, I've been in Toronto for over 50 years, let me mm -hmm. just say that, yeah, mm -hmm. long time. So you have lots of stories. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, yes, indeed, I do. Mm -hmm. So do you ever visit Israel? Do you ever go back? I haven't been back for, for a lot of years, but um, I was actually born in Israel, but I left there quite early on, mm -hmm. and I was, for the most part raised in Montreal. Oh, yes. oh my goodness. Yes. Parlez vous français? Oh, oui, je parle français. Oh! <laughs> that's pity pure. See? That's all I. That's well, all that's, I know. That's all right. Now, I, the reason I asked you to be yes. on my show, um, after seeing you in the beauty supply mm -hmm. store, I just thought it would make a great show for women that were older that still enjoyed the beauty products, dressing up, being Her. fabulous. Most and, absolutely, yes. And I thought you looked great. Oh, so thank you. Why, why is it that you think it's important? to stay looking great and just feeling great mm -hmm. at this age. Sure. I think it's a matter of whatever makes you feel good, whatever turns your crank, as the expression goes. It always turned my crank, fashion, beauty, uh, cosmetics, all that stuff. I love it. I always have. Mm -hmm. Even when I was a kid, I still do. I enjoy being a girl, you know? That's and it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm on this side of the grass so mm -hmm. far, you know? I may be old, but I'm not dead yet, so I still have interest <laughs> in looking the best I can. I try to do the best I can do in every aspect of life. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, fashion is a big part of it. I'm sorry to cut no, you. No, 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 no. When you go into a, a, a beauty supply mm -hmm. store and mm -hmm. you see all the wigs, like sometimes when I go in, yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Oh. I don't know how, oh. what which wig to choose. How, how do you decide what you're feeling? Well, for the most part, of, given my experience with it, mm -hmm. I try to look for things, first of all, that are on sale, mm -hmm. it's a big deal, um, living on pension, et cetera, et cetera, it's a big mm -hmm. deal. Um, also, I try to look at stuff that um, I think I may be able to get away with, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I can wear short, I can wear long, I can wear curly, I can wear straight, but it has to be the right styles. Okay. Okay, so I do have to be a little bit um, selective in what I pick, what mm -hmm. I choose. Um, if I'm with somebody, if I bring somebody with me, I always ask them what do they think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they may say, oh, no, it's really not for you. Yeah, so I kind of now, when yeah. you when 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 you're when you're deciding yes. to dress and um, to dress up, yeah, what like what kind of makeup do you think older women should actually look for? Do you think they should wear heavy makeup or light makeup? or just overall what they see on TV? Well, I think really, again, what governs me is what's worked for me for all of my life, all mm -hmm. right? Um, I pretty well wear the same, I guess, medium foundation that I did when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. all right? Um, same thing with eyeshadows, and yeah, I pretty well pick things that, are, uh, that I've used for like a thousand years. Oh. So to speak, yeah, it's really what I do. So being, I mean, you know, it's funny, when, when I go into the, um, beauty supply stores uh -huh. or any store mm -hmm. that sells fabulous things mm -hmm. that to make you feel more like a woman or right. just make you feel pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm always amazed mm -hmm. at how there's so many products that are uh, marketed towards us to make us look good mm -hmm. and make it's so hard to choose. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact that there is a place that we can go mm -hmm. and get things that make us feel special, no matter what mm -hmm. age we are, because makeup is ageless. <coughs> Pardon me, I agree. I agree. I agree with you, Stephanie. And, and again, that's what that's what I basically uh, try to govern myself with, is what 
what I feel comfortable in choosing for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I try to trendy, well, not so much trendy, really, mm -hmm. from the old school. You know, which mm -hmm. one has always worked for me? I tend to go for. Okay, yeah. so you get your nails done too? Yes, that I do. Yes, I, I, I do. I usually indeed. wear my nails, but not yeah, today. Yeah, like that, that I do. Oh wow, they're yeah. great. Thank you. And what color is that? Well, that's basically an Easter purple. Oh, Very shades of purple. purples, yes. Yeah, because we're almost close to Easter. Now. We are that indeed. That looks good. We are indeed. Um, now, as I can see, mm -hmm. you like lots of jewelry. I do. And that makes I do. you feel like a woman. Yeah, and yeah. Beautiful scarf. Thank you. So, now, um, are you married? No, I'm not. No, mm -hmm. not the stage of the game, no. Were you married? I was when I was very young, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how was that? That was basically, for the most part, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when you're like 18 or 19, what, what are you looking for? You're looking for a guy who's good looking, who has a car. Mm -hmm. It was good in bed. <laughs> good in bed. That's the, that's if you meet that criteria, that's okay. Oh. God forbid we should look at people who may have had money or a job. I mean, that was, you know, oh. all secondary to that sex. Was, yeah. Sex. Now, is it a certain kind of man that you look for when you when you went back in the days mm -hmm. when you were looking for just maybe to just hook up or just to sort of, you know, be with a man, just to be interested. What, what, what kind of man did well, you like? Well, again, yeah, I probably wasn't as selective as I should have been. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> obviously, somebody, a man who was tall, uh -huh. you know, because I'm fairly tall. Tall, good looking. Um, yes, good looking, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I tended to gravitate towards more men who are darker, meaning like darker hair, mm -hmm. even darker skin, that was fine, too. Mm -hmm. um, blonde wasn't really my... Uh, my thing when I was young. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are, still are, are young men attracted to you? Uh, or do young men try to hit on you to this day? Much to my surprise or horror, depends on which way you want to look at it. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, no, really, it, it, it just it knocks me out. Mm -hmm. They actually stop me in the middle of the street and say, can I say something to you? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I don't know what you're going to say. No. How, I mean, seriously, yeah. how would you... Seriously. I mean, serious. Oh, yeah. serious? Oh, oh my God. God. I'm being dead serious, mm -hmm. yes. So they, they, don't want, they don't want to ask you out. They just want sex. I hope not. I, I know I've got the foggy notion what they want. They just mm. say, can I say something to you? And I'll say, okay. I'll say, you have know, nice skin, right? So I say, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And I usually try to get going before much else happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um... When did you start wearing makeup? When? Oh, I believe, Stephanie, I must have been about 12 years old, mm -hmm. as far as my memory banks go. So you used to play in your mother's makeup, or you had your own makeup? Um, uh, both, I think. Mm -hmm. Both, both, yeah. So, yeah. now, when did you, did, like, have you always worn wigs? Have you always worn wigs? No, I haven't. Um, I think the first facsimile to a wig I ever wore was in my early 20s, they had a thing called a fall, mm -hmm. which was a part wig, which you had some of your own bangs showing, mm -hmm. and just sort of sat here on the head, and then came down as a fall, mm -hmm. that's the name, yeah. So do you think men treat you differently when you have natural hair or wigs? Do, do they treat you different if you wear a wig, or if you just have, have you noticed any difference? No, no, okay. I haven't, to be honest with you, no. So you, you would say to older women, feel free, try wigs on, try Absolutely. to, you know. Well, whatever makes you happy, I think is the, whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you confident, mm -hmm. I think is a big part of it. You know, yeah. Be because, you, you know, part. being coming from the black community, yes. we know, the, my sister, my mother, mm -hmm. they all mm -hmm. wore wigs mm -hmm. and, and weaves and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. And it never was an issue for my father. Yes. Uh, but, um. For some reason, the young girls always try to make their weaves, even today, mm -hmm. try to look as realistic as possible. And now there's the lace front wigs that make right. it look more realistic, which yes. is a, which is a good mm -hmm. thing because mm -hmm. it shows that at least um, now people don't have to be concerned about a wig actually mm -hmm. looking like a wig. Mm -hmm. It looks mm -hmm. more natural, which we're good about that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, now mm -hmm. you say that you live with cats. I do indeed. How many cats do you have? I have three now. Mm -hmm. What's their names? Uh, my oldest one is Bethany, mm -hmm. and uh, my youngest one is Sparrow, mm -hmm. and my only boy right in the middle is Corrigan. Oh, Corrigan. Oh, yes. That's a nice name. Yeah. Now, how, what, now, what, now, when did you get the cats? What, what was your first cat? 
Oh boy, my first cat was when I was about to, uh, uh, currently or when I was a child? No, now. They're now? not the ones you have now. Uh, the first one, I guess, was uh, Bethany. She's the mm -hmm. older. She's like 19. Mm -hmm. Our bright wood, whichever, both, yeah. Um, and then Sparrow is eight, and Corrigan is 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the personalities of your cats? Oh, extremely different. So Bethany is a real, real fussy, but can hold her own mm -hmm. and does what she wants to do and rules the roost, even mm -hmm. though she's tiny, very tiny. Mm -hmm. Corrigan is about the size of the Titanic. He's my only boy, mm -hmm. um, tuxedo cat, which is black and white, and a real mama's boy. Oh, mm -hmm. just lives for me. That's it. That's his only, the only thing in his universe is me, oh. as far as I can make out, as far as anybody can make out. Uh, Sparrow is another Titanic, uh, meaning like they're, you know, mm -hmm. big, big girls and boys. Um, she's fairly independent. She was abused quite a bit, so she can be fairly independent, mm -hmm. but she's affectionate with me, and that's fine. Okay, so having three cats. Yeah. Now, do you live with a with with a man now? Not the present time. No, I okay. don't. Okay, so no. it's just you and your three cats. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. So, are you looking to date again, or are you dating anyone right now? Well, I mean, I don't think you can ever close the door on anything. I guess that's my philosophy mm -hmm. of life. But I think Stephanie, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not per se looking, although, like I say, I wouldn't. As the old expression goes, so I'm out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> you know, um, whatever comes my way comes mm -hmm. my way. Okay. You know. Um, now, yeah. do you have any kids? No. Okay. No, I do not. I spent most of my life as a social worker, Stephanie, mm -hmm. raising everybody else's kids. Oh. To be quite candid with you, yes. Mm -hmm. So, can I? I just want to ask yeah. one personal question. In yes, a sense, course. are you lonely? Like, what are the, the uh -huh. cats, sometimes when people have animals, yes. it makes up for them not having uh -huh. either a mm -hmm. husband or a, or, or a lover mm -hmm. or a boyfriend or girlfriend around. Jeez, I hope not. Oh. <laughs> I mean, to me, a cat is a cat. I love them dearly. Mm -hmm. They are part of my family, but I don't have any false illusions about uh, Corrigan being a man or, no, mm -hmm. oh, no, I hope I never do, like okay. in the world of. Um, I mean, well, yeah, I think we all have our moments, but for the most part, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm glad to be alive, Stephanie, to tell you the truth. I'm glad to be fairly independent. Mm -hmm. You know, I can still, for the most part, do my groceries on my own, clean my own bathtub. You know, oh, kind of thing. This, this is um, important. So I think it's important, and independence is very important for me. And I'm still working the mm -hmm. odd time, you know, so I'm glad about that. I still keep my hand in. And yeah. Wow, inspiration. Mm -hmm. An inspiration. Over mm -hmm. 70 and still working. Yes. And you're working on your terms. On my terms on a job that I love and that I've always loved. Wonderful. Yeah. That I've always you know, loved. helping people is really, a lot of people don't understand that when people, mm -hmm. some people are just good hearted mm -hmm. and they don't mind helping people right. because it's just their nature. Yes. And yes. you know, just listening to you, mm -hmm. I can tell that it's honesty and truth. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure the um, impact that you had on a lot of your clients or um, lives mm -hmm. have been positive. I but hope so. That's the feedback I get when I used to run uh, little group homes for uh, little runaway teenagers, etc., etc., mm -hmm. or legitimately teenagers on the street, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, a lot of times, if we had to discharge somebody at three in the morning, you know, mm -hmm. they'd say, "Well, we understand why you're doing this. We know you still care." I said, "Yes, I have to. I have to ask you to leave because you're carrying a gun." Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so of course you must you must go I got 17 other kids here so you must go and they were fine with that mm -hmm. so I think so I'm just picking up on what you're saying about the trust mm -hmm. and that was always there yes yeah. well that's a good thing that you I have think it a, is. that you have a positive outlook because sometimes people can be um how do you say concerning in a mm -hmm. sense? In the, in the business, in the in the social work mm -hmm. business, you find a lot of kids that are lost or people that are lost oh, well, of course. in the system. And it's great to see people um, like yourself that take a, a real interest in your job and you care about what you do. I do and, certainly and, care, and, but and, you know, we're all human beings, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. We're all human beings. To me, that's the bottom line. We're all human beings. Mm -hmm. And sometimes a client will say, "Why do you call me sir?" I thought because you're a man. Mm -hmm. You're a male, and you're, you know, as far as I know, okay, mm -hmm. and you're a human being, right? Mm -hmm. And they look at me and say, yeah. Respect. You don't have to be over, over 85 to be ready to call you sir, you know? Mm -hmm. Can I, an, another question I'd like yeah. to ask you, do you miss the company of a man, or 
having a husband? Do you miss that? Not terribly in that sense. No, I don't. Because um, I still have exposure mm -hmm. to men in my life. Okay, perhaps that's part of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, now, yeah. you know, because a lot of women today, mm -hmm. whether they're single mm -hmm. or they're widowed, mm -hmm. they have talked to me in the past mm -hmm. about the fact that they miss the company mm -hmm. Of men, but they're, they're but they're they're weary of the way men are today, mm -hmm. um, because either mm -hmm. um, the men that are interested in they're either after their money, or mm -hmm. just not um, not good for them. Yes, yes, I, and, I, I, I um, understand. Because as you that. get as we get older and we get I settled in our, in yeah. our ways, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes our um, needs and wants takes us out of our comfort mm -hmm. zone. This is true. Now, what's your advice to women that are comfortable with themselves, meaning their job, their the, the way they are at home, but yet still open to a relationship? As my dear father used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Which is now, true. If it, yes, if it works for you, mm -hmm. if you're happy in it, you don't have to uh, meet anybody else's expectations or mm -hmm. aspire to anything other than what your own aspirations are. That's why I've always looked at life. I was taught that by my parents, who are wonderful people. So what do you think make men and women, when there's the, all of a sudden, you know, a lot of times men and women are, they say they're in a happy relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, what do you think make men and women fall out of love? What, what like, what, oh. like, Jeez, I guess that's the age old answer. Somebody could solve that, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I don't really know that I have an answer for that per se. Mm -hmm. I would say that things change. You can see people, people change as they grow older. Mm -hmm. They want different things. They aspire to different things. And perhaps what originally worked for them you know, mm -hmm. 40 years prior doesn't work for them now. As far as actually falling out of love, yes, maybe they met somebody else. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they just, you know... Mm -hmm. Life, life happens. People, people change. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Change is, change is always in the cards. Mm -hmm. You know, we can never guarantee anything, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. I wish we could, having said that, but we can't. Mm -hmm. And whatever, uh, wherever life takes us, it takes us. Mm -hmm. So, let's say, do do you have any brothers and sisters? No, I don't. Not that I'm aware of. Oh. <laughs> I, I say not that I'm aware of because I was adopted. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was adopted, so not that I'm aware of. Now. Okay, now um, just a few more yeah, questions yeah, of course, for that's you. Fine, that's fine. Um, what if you were to look for a man today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What sort of man would you be interested in? What kind of man would sure. interest you? I'd be interested in somebody who is honest, mm -hmm. somebody who is uh, actually a human being, mm -hmm. or like we say in, in Jewish, a mensch, which means a real person. Mm -hmm. You know, a real genuine person. Um, has those important qualities, you know, honesty, mm -hmm. integrity, you know, comes with good character, certainly an animal lover, you oh. know, in my <laughs> case, certainly that has mm -hmm. to be. Um, somebody who would respect me for what I am. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the only other thing I would say, like, that's, that, that's the important, some of the important things. Mm -hmm. uh, other things that would be like somebody, quite frankly, I'd like somebody who has a car, mm -hmm. somebody for companionship, mm -hmm. that would be nice. Somebody to have dinner with, okay, mm -hmm. he would be nice. Somebody to drive me to the grocery store <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> now, when you say that you um, you were working in social work, yes. and mostly with men, yes, did any of these men come on to you? Oh, like, yes. Make propositions to you? Oh, yes. And, and, oh, yeah. and, and how did you deal with that as a, as a, as a, in a professional mm -hmm. sense? In some ways, it was quite easy, Stephanie, because you know you had the rule of the land, mm -hmm. being whatever agency you're representing at that point. That was part of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's easy to turn and say, "Look, I'm sorry, it's against company policy," but to take you a step further, Joe, mm -hmm. you know, John, whichever, um, no, this would not be appropriate for me to you know overlap and from a professional capacity with you into a personal relationship. Wonderful, mm -hmm. you know. Um, when I was when I thought about this show, mm. I thought, what questions should I ask mm. her? What should we talk about? And mm. what 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 is important? Mm. And I thought to myself, what was important is the fact that we need to understand that older people do still have a desire 
to make love, most assuredly, to be loved, most assuredly, and to feel <coughs> to me. feel special and look pretty. And as women, uh -huh. that is something that's very important in our lives. Mm -hmm. It is now. Um, on my final thoughts. Yes. Um, thank you for coming. Oh, on it's to my, my show. pleasure. I've enjoyed um, it. I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. Yeah. I, so, what is your? What would be your advice for women? Can you sum it up for us to say about beauty? men and just the fact of aging and feeling special. Just give us a little quick rundown of advice in those, let's just say, let's start with the beauty. Okay, again, I have to say, whatever makes you happy, whatever turns your crank, as I said at the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. whatever does it for you, mm -hmm. that's important. I don't, I don't believe in life you can present to others mm -hmm. if you don't feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion, of course. Um, like, for example, I'm walking in this store, in this big store, and you approach me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, so, obviously, I'm approachable. I think that's important. Yes. You see? So, mm -hmm. you have to, not like, turn on giving you a look like, mm -hmm. you know, or received you, which I did. I received you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I think that's important. It's how you present in life, which makes you approachable. Okay? Mm -hmm. And people, I think, can see that in your demeanor. Mm -hmm. Um... And again, to, I'm trying to sum up, I'm, I haven't forgotten your, your original question, mm -hmm. but really all I can say again is whatever makes you happy, whatever does it for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's important, young, old, whatever. And I think it's important for women to dress up and they don't need to make excuses for feel, wanting mm -hmm. to feel not and look tall, beautiful. Not at all, not at all. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give you my final thoughts because okay, sure. I wrote a little bit about All right, this. Sure. Okay. My final thoughts is to um, to see older people still living and thriving in a positive manner and not giving up and being active, keeping their mind and body working. So thank you, Marilyn, for sharing your story with us. My you're, an, you're an inspiration. And you thank know what? You. I Let's go shopping. There's a plan. There's Never turn shopping. that down. Never turn that down. No. Nope. So thank you so much for being my on pleasure. my show. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me on the Stephanie Stevens thank Show. You. This is Marilyn Wilson. Um, today we talked about men, sex, <laughs> aging, and the fact of just feeling beautiful and fabulous over 70. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you, Marilyn, for my having my show. Game. My that pleasure. was great. My pleasure. I'm glad Thank you enjoyed you it. So my much. pleasure. My pleasure. It was fun. Thank you.